Hello friends, this is Kevin, aka Kman1, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Fire Red version. In the last episode, we had our third battle against our rival, and were completely unable to hear about Team Rocket's dental plan in spite of our best efforts to do so. And in this episode, we are going to be working our way along Cerulean Cape. So, let's go and... I was hoping I was outside of that guy's sight range, so I guess we're having to fight a hiker. Um, this is kind of like a labyrinth of trainers, and basically, when you fight one, then you won't have to fight the other. Or, that's a pretty bad way of describing it. But basically, if you work your way around correctly, then you only need to fight about half of the trainers. But I just missed- well, actually, I think this is one of the cases where you need to fight one of two. And so, that's probably oh, okay, didn't deal that much. Dealt about a third, but I mean, I can deal more than half of his. So. Not a huge concern. And anyways, hikers. Um, we've come across them before, but I didn't show them on screen. They mostly have uh, rock and fighting type Pokemon, so they can be pretty annoying to take care of for me still, since I don't really have a really effective way of dealing with rock type Pokemon. I mean, Super Hot puts in work in his own way, but for the most part, I really wish I had a better super effective move. Which may might be getting soon, depending on how well I remember Pokemon being able to learn TMs. But anyway, really, really, you're gonna hang on with 3 HP, so that I need to take a third power point in order to beat you. For shame, Geodude, for shame. Let's just go ahead and hit it with the Ember, and take it down. Alright, so that was Hiker Franklin. Reminds me of that. I think it was a turtle named Franklin? I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched... Well, I mean, obviously, I don't like to go around watching little kids' cartoons. I'm gonna stop talking before I dig myself into a hole. Local trainers come here to practice. No one cares. Just kidding. Some people probably care. There's gonna be, like, a movement in the comments starting about how, like, Youngster Joey! I thought I'd never meet you. This isn't the same Youngster Joey, obviously, because one lives in Johto and one lives in Kanto. And since the games take place two years apart, then... This youngster Joey probably would have graduated to another trainer class. Um, in those two years, because, I don't know, logic. Logic doesn't exist in the Pokemon world, what am I talking about? But yeah, youngster Joey is a famous character that we're all well aware of, or at least those of us who play Pokemon as much as I do. So, and it's always fun to see, and I didn't mean to use Quick Attack, so now Spiro's gonna be able to get in. No, not Fury Attack. Y'all saw when I got super crazy Mega Death comboed by that Mankey using Fury Attack, or Fury Swipes rather. And multi-hit moves, sometimes they're completely worthless and sometimes they just combo you to death without you being able to do anything. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> You're decent, he says as I trash his whole team with one Pokemon. Ugh. Some of these, some of these trainers sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Pikachu with items because I don't have many potions left. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Pikachu with a potion, just so we can have that little bit of extra health. And I'm gonna work our way through, making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. So. This girl's gonna have a... I'm pretty sure she's gonna have both an interim male and an interim female, which is a pretty common thing among lassies. Or whatever she is. Does she have picnicker to picnickers existing? I don't remember trainer classes, honestly. Because there are just so many. I know some of them, but... I mean, I'll be able to tell as soon as she tries to switch Pokemon. But... I'll, I'll find out this one. I think lasses look different in this game than that girl. She might be like a picnicker or something. Yeah, she's a picnicker. Anyways, it's a common thing among picnickers to have both a Nidoran male and a Nidoran female. Is the whole thing I was trying to get at before I got sidetracked by really being concerned about the nomenclature of different Pokemon trainer classes. And woo, got the paralysis! Which probably isn't really gonna help much, because... Okay. It'll take two more hits for that to take Jerk down. So, oh, and you go for the growl, so this victory is definitely right in the palm of my hand. So we've got the whole team at level 18 right now, which I am very, very happy about. And so yeah. So right here, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my Pokemon around just so I can have 
super hot in the front take down the pesky rock types that I'm about to fight. But anyways, here, basically what you're going to want to do is position yourself so that you can get up. I'll, I'll explain once we're past this battle. Anyways, this guy is, in fact, going to have three Geodudes and a Machop. Uh, don't ask me how I know that, but that's what we're going to be dealing with. And so technically, if you position yourself correctly, this guy, well, the next guy isn't required. Well, actually, if you, position, if you position yourself correctly, then one of these two trainers right here isn't required. But in order to get an item that is inside of a little circle of bushes, then we're going to need to pull some shenanigans, like such. Which, again, I will be explaining after we're done, this is that. After we're done with this battle. Also, I really like the name Knob. Like, who would, who would name their kid Knob? It's like... I don't know, I can just imagine the kids on the playground being like, haha, you're just a doorknob. Or, I don't know. I never got bullied as a child, so I don't know how kids make fun of other kids. I mean, I have a weird last name, and so people are always, like, mispronouncing it on purpose or trying to make jokes off of it. Which is always annoying. But it wasn't, like, malicious, it was just like, oh, that's a cool name, let me try to be funny. But then they failed because people aren't funny. Just kidding, people are funny sometimes, like me. I'm very funny, as you can tell by my complete lack of attempts at comedy. I'm sure some people find... I mean, I don't know, people find me funny all the time when I'm not trying to be funny just because of, like, I guess the way I talk is different from other people. So, people are just like, oh, you talk so silly. And I'm like, no, I don't, you're just weird. But enough about my personal life, let's talk about Pokemon. I was right that this guy had three Geodudes and a Machamp, and hopefully, by taking down this Machamp, I will get the level up on Jagaboo. Yep, yeah, well, I got the hit, so hopefully I'll get the level up on Jagaboo, and then we might get to do something a little bit special. Alright, so we got the level up, and we learned the we are learning the move Rollout, but we can't learn more than four moves. Rollout is an interesting move, where you're basically locked into it for five turns, and for each one you hit, it gets more powerful. And I am actually going to be gra I never went over Disable, but Disable's annoying, and I don't really ever use it. But anyways, I am going to be picking up a Rollout. And, in addition to the fact of having Rollout, this is the last move I wanted Jigglypuff to learn before I evolved it. So, you all know what that means. Let's just go ahead into our bag, grab that Moonstone, go ahead and use it on Jaggleboof. What? Jaggleboof is evolving! Alright, I'm gonna stop that. Probably just because it's really annoying and I'm not even paying attention to see if it's on tempo. But anyways, Jaggleboof has evolved into Waggletooth. Just kidding, it's wiggly tough. Yay, the evolved form of Jigglypuff. And I'm not going to be renaming it to Waggletuff like I just joked at, because Jigglypuff is just a much better name overall, in my opinion at least. Therefore, it should be in your opinion as well, because I'm always right. Or at least I'm never wrong. And at least that's what I like to tell myself. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, you need to be at that point that I was standing in order to move this guy so that you can grab this item and that's behind him. And I'm on super low HP and I didn't even realize, so I'm probably going to have to either use a healing item or let Jerk go down. I'm hopeful that he's not going to go for the- yeah, right. he didn't go for the quick attack, which was a huge gamble on my part. But, you know me, I'm all about taking risks and, uh, I don't know. These are two Ekans and, you know, why not just go ahead and check out our newly evolved Jaggleboo. That's what Wigglytuff's back sprite looks like, which is honestly a little bit underwhelming to me, but I mean, there were there are bigger things to be concerned about than Pokemon's back sprites. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can rack up a rollout combo. I'm pretty sure it does double damage every turn, I'm not completely sure on that, and I'll, like, I don't know. I might, like, say something in post-commentary. Whether I'm right or wrong, I don't really care. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to look it up, but hopefully I'll be able to get a good combo going. And alright, three hits. So we're dealing for we're hitting for pretty heavy damage right now. Not that it really matters because it's an Ekans. But yeah, rollout is a fun move to use if you can manage to rack up a big combo. And anyways, the reason you wanted to pull that guy forward is you get TM43 Secret Power, which is a 70 base power normal type move. 
uh, which has different effects depending on um, what air, what like type of field you're in. So it's pretty cool, but not something you can really rely on for like the secondary effects. But so, can I stop going into my Pokemon menu? I'm trying to use a potion on Pikachu. Sorry, on Jerk. All right. So hopefully this will be enough, and I'll be able to make it through this battle. If this battle, yeah, this battle is required. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Yeah, well, you should be jealous because I'm about to destroy you, whether your Pokemon are cute. And I forgot she had grass types. Well, I didn't forget that she had grass types. I forgot that she started with grass types. So I'm just going to see what sort of damage I can do. With That's not bad. Except that this Otis is going to be using Absorb, so it's going to be getting a little bit, bit of its health back every time it hits me. Um, yeah. I didn't explain it before because I don't think I've actually like done any battles on screen with it, but Absorb is a move. It doesn't have very much power behind it, but it will steal half of the damage it deals to restore the health. And I didn't mean to push that. It'll steal half of the damage it deals in order to heal the user, which can be very, very annoying, as you might be able to figure out. Draining moves are really, really fun to use, though, but they didn't get... They were pretty bad until they got buffed in, I believe, Generation 5. Um, but yeah, they got buffed at some point along the line, and so they are very, very fun to use now. Um, and they've always been fun, but the best ones were not very powerful and did not have hardly any power points. So, and there were downsides to using them just so they couldn't be abused. Y'all know how it is. Game balance and all that. Anyways, Super Hot is going to take up this last auto real quick, and we're going to finally get to meet the Bill fellow that Gary was telling us about. Who would have thought that Gary would actually give us useful information? Because he definitely didn't the first time. We talked to him, he was just like, Grams isn't here. He could tell at the time, Gary. We could tell he wasn't there by the fact that he wasn't there. We didn't need you to tell us. Gary's, Gary's a jerk. We all know he's a jerk. Anyways, let's just go ahead into Bill's house. Hello. A Clefairy, I've been looking so hard for- oh. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Well, make up your mind, Bill. Call me Bill, I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. You're pink right now. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. <sighs> nah, I'm- yeah, I'm not gonna do the epic, no. Because I'm a nice guy like that. And... As a video game protagonist, all you have to do is go up to stuff and press A, and everything else works for you. Now you get this cool little thing. And Bill's back to normal, hooray. And Bill actually does have a unique field sprite, which is cool. I'm pretty sure he didn't in the original, just because he wasn't really considered a major character, but yeah, he has a unique field sprite in this game. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud, I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? Well, no. Well, I kind of want to see it, to be honest, just see what it is, but we don't actually have that option. Anyways, we get the SS ticket, which is the whole reason we came up here to begin with. Hooray. So, that was Bill, and we got an item, so hooray. So, we're going to go ahead and take this nice little path that we have back to Cerulean City. And just looking at the recording time, we still have time to take down one more little thing, but I'm go ahead gonna I'm going to go ahead and heal before I take care of it. If I can even English right now. Alright, and so after talking to Bill, this guy moves by. He's like the people here are robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. He's right there! Literally right there! You're the worst policeman in the world! Whatever, let's just go ahead and go through. And these guys are just like... Those miserable rockets! Look at what they've done to my house! They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes! I was gonna use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew! That cost me a bundle it did. Yeah. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no- <laughs> Uh, stupid NPC lines. Anyways, let's just go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, stay out, it's not your yard. Huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you? You're, what? You have a Team Rocket field sprite. Of course I don't think you're an innocent bystander. You are much worse at your job than the guy up at the top of Nugget Bridge. That guy, you would have never even realized he was a Team Rocket grunt because he had a different field sprite, but no, you didn't bother to change yours. 
This is why you're bad at your job. This is why you're a grunt instead of an admin. And so I did not do nearly as much damage as I hoped to, and he can more than half help me. So I'm going to switch to a Pokemon that's actually good at battling right now. Now the Pikachu's bad at battling, just it's, it's at that point where it's starting to get... It's just taking more damage than it's able to deal out. Which isn't somewhere you ever want to be with an offensive Pokemon. But yeah. Pro tip to all you aspiring uh, Team Rocket grunts out there. Be sure to change your field sprite when you're trying to do covert operations. Anyways, he is switching over to a drowsy, and hopefully I'll be able to deal a little bit of damage to it with Pikachu. Sorry, I was a jerk. I'm going to be referring to my Pokemon by their nicknames, because without it, it's just like calling a cat, cat, or a dog, dog, or a person, person. If you don't refer to them by their names, then there's nothing separating them from barbarians, and I'm not going to be able to do this fight, so I'm going to switch over to Jagalboo to pick up the slack. And Pikachu especially can't really do much of anything. And again, I'm talking about Pikachu as a species, not as my specific Pikachu. Pikachu can't really do anything against Pokemon that it can't get super effective hits on. And yeah, we're not fighting any of those right now. Anyways, as you can tell, Jagoboof has a lot more power behind his moves now, now that he's involved. So I am very, very happy about that. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. And we get all the money. Well, not all the money, that's not very much to be completely honest. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole, but more important, we get TM28, which contains Dig, which is a move I'm not actually going to be using on any of my party right now, because none of them can use it particularly effectively. And I'm probably not going to be using it on any of my party at all, because I have a Pokemon in mind that doesn't really need it. Anyways, in this episode, we went through Cerulean Cape, talked to Bill, who was disguised as a Clefairy because of weird cosplay or whatever, and we took down a Rocket Grunt to get a TM that we're not even going to bother using at any point in time. And in the next episode, I think we're finally ready to go ahead and take on Cerule- I didn't mean to walk in. Well, we're ready to go ahead and take on Cerulean Jim. See you guys then.